Gemini, it's Aces Week. Very appropriate for this time of year. We just entered the spring, so anytime we enter a new season, or the new year for that matter, good time to do an Aces check. Let's talk about it. This is the board I'm using for you and all 12 signs. We're going to take a detailed look at the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. And so we're all on the same page. Let's go over Aces and tear on what they mean. Most people think first and foremost, new opportunity right? One that we're creating for ourselves, or maybe it's coming towards us. Cool. The second type is actually the most common type. Aces we already have in play and therefore become renewed opportunities, uh, renewed thoughts, passions, investments, feelings, that kind of thing. And we do that hopefully because it's working for us, right? But if it's not, I want to see that. We want to see that. That way we can figure out where we can improve, make changes, or scrap something altogether to make way for a proper new beginning. There you go. So I should see a mix of both. New, renewed. We're going to start with the Ace of Swords. So, like always, take it resonates, leave it does not, yeah? These are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate. And as frustrating as that is, it's also normal. Check your other placements, okay? So, Ace of Swords. Any brand new, strong thoughts, therefore actions, or ongoing strong truths, and therefore actions. Let's see that Ace of Swords, please, for Gemini. Show me the Ace of Swords, please, for... Gemini. Show me the Ace of Swords, please, for Gemini. Sounds like Santa Baby woke up. <laughs> What's going on, please? Show me the Ace of Swords for Gemini. Show me the Ace of Swords, please, for Gemini. Okay. You and somebody else had that direct placement. Like, I know what's up. Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups. Two of Wands. Woohoo! I like it. I, I don't know what it is, but you're like, I do. And that's all that counts. <laughs> Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups, and Two of Wands. You're like, I'm looking out upon the world and I like what I see. And what do you see? I see me. I see me. I see. <laughs> You'd have to be a fan of Death Becomes Her with Meryl Streep and Bruce Willis to get that reference. <laughs> But yeah, I see me, and I like what I see. That's what you're saying. It's a little cheeky, but I like it. You like yourself. Yay, I'm turning into that Gemini again. Yay. Yay. I'm really happy to see this Gemini. Congratulations to you once more. If you are just like in tune with yourself, you're a bit cheeky. You got a sense of humor. You have a nice light way of seeing things, but knowing when to take things seriously too. I love it. Ace the Swords, you're like, I got a truth. I got a truth, and I understand my truth to be, Christina, that I'm responsible for my own sense of wish fulfillment. Thank you very much. Nine of Cups, and that's the way it should be. Everything begins with the self. So Nine of Cups, guys, why is it called wish fulfillment? Why? Why? Oh, why? 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 Well, let me tell you why. Okay? The idea of the Nine of Cups is that wish fulfillment or self-fulfilling prophecy that is positive is on the premise or based on the premise that we understand we love ourselves. And if we understand we love ourselves we do the best we can for ourselves, making those decisions every day and backing up that particular truth. So the Gemini I'm seeing every day kind of greets the day as a new opportunity to understand who they are and to demonstrate who they are through love, to make the best decisions for themselves as they can, and that's their truth, and they're sticking to it. I'm not saying you're perfect. There's no such thing. You either have an idea of who you are or you can be like on the receiving end of Aquarius's opposite energy, where it's like, I have no respect for who that person is because they have no clue who they are. Oh, <laughs> that's not your problem, though. I just want to say as an example, if you want to check that out, it was wild. Anyway, you're saying you know who you are. And um, you do the best you can. And you take a lot of pride in doing the best you can every day because you love yourself. You really do try to make the best possible decisions for yourself every day. And uh, I like that. I respect it a lot. I like this Gemini. This is a cool Gemini. Every now and again, I turn into this Gemini. It's not perfect. We all have our quirks. We all have our problems. What I'm saying is, is that you have a workable system, and your workable system makes sense to you, and that's because you have pre-existing knowledge of who you are. That's it. It pays to ask, who am I? A lot. And I just mean the positive things, also the other stuff, too. When you know who you are and you embrace it, no one can hold it against you. And you will better understand how to utilize you. You know what I mean? All right. What else, please? Any other thoughts knocking around in there? Or are we good? <laughs> 
I like this. I do. Anything else in there, please, for that Ace of Swords for Gemini? It looks like you've made another recent decision, though. Recent, recent. Not just in a vague way, but in a recent way to do something that would please you. I'm very curious what that is. I may not say it. You may not show me. It's looking like a recent example that feels right to you. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. The Hanged Man in reverse. The Moon. <gasps> oh. Somebody's coming out of Hanged Man. Suspension. You've been under the moon for a little bit. I don't know what you learned in there, but you learned something about yourself that says, okay, I've made up my mind on something. You were out of reverse. You're no longer in suspension over something that has been knocking around in your moon. What it is, I don't know. But you've made a decision that's correct for you, and that's all I care about, Nine of Pentacles. You're saying it means a lot to me. And I feel good about it. <laughs> nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. I like it. Yeah, see the hanged man in reverse too often. State of suspension's over. Timeout's over. You've made a decision. What is it, though? I, I understand that it enhances who you are. Whatever it is. You already had that little talk with yourself. I will only do that which is enhances me or is right to me or correct for me. Cool. What is it? Maybe you'll show me. I'm just being impatient. <laughs> don't make me work for it, Gemini. Just show me. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But whatever it is you decide, it will suit you well. But so, uh, yeah, the time of delay is over. The sense of self, decision making, being present every day and doing the best you can is here. No more hanging back by the moonside. Deep contemplation, reflection. That has its time and its place, but knowing when to come out and when it's time to start living life, two different things. Okay. There's still a decision in here. What is it? There's something you want to give yourself and you just recently told yourself you're going to do it. Let's say Ace of Wands, please. I mean, well, you might tell me. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> the Emperor. Empowerment. Did you really have to fall on my lap to tell me that? Let's say the Ace of Wands, please. What fires you up, what gets you all riled up and charged and filled with hope and sense of creativity and passion? What is that, please? Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands, the Nine of Wands. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. You're really trying to do a job of keeping yourself open positively towards your foundation you're saying it's quite the pickle right now you're kind of busy defending it but you like it you like it you like a little exercise in willpower you like a little exercise in strength you're saying that you have to fight for your foundation pretty hard right now and that all your best of your energy has to go towards it your good intentions and it gets exhausting sometimes with the nine of wands but you're in a position, say, where you're used to defending it and shoring it up and making sure that it's stable. You're saying you're actually quite good at it, and you try to keep yourself positive towards it. And I tell people all the time, there's, there's consequences at Ten of Pentacles, guys. Putting it together is easy. Maintaining it is harder, much harder. And there's sometimes where you, you have some days where you have to remind yourself why you do it. <laughs> but for the most part, you're saying this is where all the best of your energy goes to, goes to or towards. Uh, foundation, guys, is the tree of life. It's the roots that touch many, many things. It's not just our personal finances. It's everything we know to be true in our given existence. So that is our home. That is our job. That is our family. That is our community. <laughs> that is our resources. Those are our networks. So you're saying yours is sometimes it's hard to navigate and find the energy for, but by God, you find the energy for it. And you fight for it every day to the best of your abilities. And some days are harder than others. There's times when you're inspired. And there's times you're like, dear God, not again. Not today. <laughs> but regardless, you always try to keep yourself open towards it and make yourself available to it, not to shut it off. Okay? Anything else, please, about that Ace of Wands? I'm getting back to this. I don't know what that is, but we're going to get back to it. Okay? Okay? 
You just leave me like hanging like that. Mm -mm. Nope. The unknown is my business. I'm not necessarily saying you're keeping it secret. <laughs> you just came out of the moon. You don't need any more perspective on something that's in there. Cool. But I want to know what it is you've recently decided upon. Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Strength. Okay, good. You've recently shown me a, a non-commitment to wishy-washy. You're like, something about that speaks strongly to you. And this looks like a strength of will on your part. Something that you pride yourself on personally. I will not do wishy-washy nonsense. I won't do it. I'd just rather make a decision and stick to it and back it up. And if it doesn't work out, I'll take the hit for that too. But right now you're saying when it comes to your foundation and what lights you up, you have a certain amount of pride and strength attached to you. And you do not like being questioned on this respect. Uh, you do not. This is a very sensitive point for you. <laughs> Two of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. You're saying I do the best I can every day. Um, but I will not allow myself get caught up in confusion. If something needs to be done, it'll get done. I will not avoid it and I will not put it off. I will take care of it as the problem pops up. Uh, that way it won't get worse. And if it works out, great. If it doesn't, I'll take that hit. But I will not be accused of inoperable activities or not taking initiative. Okay. You always say you take on point energy and or leadership when it comes to your foundation. So that's why you find it exhausting sometimes. Sometimes you have to make spontaneous decisions and actions. Mm. Everybody's foundation is different, guys. Some people get to take their time with the decisions. Other people have to make fast ones. And you're in that position where you say, this, this two of pentacles nonsense, Christina. Other people can luxuriate in that. That's not mine. And I learned a long time ago, seven of swords, to not engage in that behavior. Just be strong and deal with whatever pops up. You know, but you will not be faulted for not taking action or lingering or taking too long. You say, this is something you have to do every day. You have to make these kind of decisions every day. Do you not just to get sit on your butt and take your time with this, that, and the other? You say you handle things on site. Ooh. Yeah, no wonder you have those hard days. But again, you take it back to a source of pride. You take it back to a source of, of um, challenge in a way. You kind of like the challenge in your own way. It's almost like it's a point of pride for you to resist the odds and do what other people just can't or won't do. Something like that. Wow. That's an interesting source here of inspiration, guys. Really interesting. And I understand some signs, and I tell this to Scorpio all the time, just not good with the Two of Pentacles. And you yourself personally. I can see where Gemini would get lost on that Two of Swords. But when it comes to real world action, you're like, I don't avoid that. I make decisions and I back them up for worse or better. And again, that comes from a place of understanding who you are. Cool. Very overall sense here today. <laughs> that is not a new Ace of Wands. That is absolutely renewed, ongoing. Ace of Swords, I'm still curious about that. <laughs> I like your process, but I insist I'm looking at a decision for you that you've made recently. Something you just came to terms with. I don't... Mm. <laughs> I'm getting irritated because I want an answer to it. I'm just being nosy at this point because you've yet to say what it is. I got your ace of wands. Let's jump on over to your ace of cups. We got any sense of uh, love in there? Renewed love? Love of the self? You already kind of showed me love of the self, so that's covered. Let's see that ace of cups, please. Show me the ace of cups. Show me the ace of cups. Show me the ace of cups. Show me the ace of cups, please, for Gemini. Show me the ace of cups, please, for Gemini. I like how you associate your 3D world as a measure of pride and challenge. It's interesting. Because that is absolutely part of passion. It's just not typically what's shown in tarot. But I like that you demonstrated that today. Really good point. 
Excellent point. The sun. It found you. Found you. I'm just saying. Trying to be all elusive and shit. Who do you think you're talking to? Anyway, I'm really happy that I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm happy that you're happy. You are. The Sun, Eight of Wands, the Page of Cups. We're going to have a little special talk with somebody. And it feels good. A little bit, though. Page of Cups, nothing crazy. A little bit of Eight of Wands. A little bit of sun, a little sunshine, a little water. We have some words. Okay, we're going to plant some words, see how they go. What else, please, is in that Ace of Cups? I like how you just casually stroll out of the moon. Okay, I've gotten perspective on this. I know what I'm doing now. Nine of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I just know that you understand and embrace this knowledge spec. It was something that would make you happy, but you had to take it to the moonscape to understand that. Your 3D world, I don't dispute it. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> the way you laid that out for me, I don't dispute that. That's in working order under your hand by your design. You assume the responsibilities for successes as well as failures, even if you have to make snap decisions. Okay? I understand. I respect that. Full respect on that. I got you. You know? And sometimes life is like that. You either have that life and you get it or you don't. Okay? Those level of responsibilities, yeah. But this one was much more personal. Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and this is what we had to rest on. This is something we've been, like, not dealing with. <laughs> Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Four of Swords. That's a lot of, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to invest in that until I know what I'm doing. Four of Swords. I went silent on it. Where did I last see your silence? Even though you came out of the moon, you were still silent on the subject. But I wanted to know why you look so pleased with yourself. Because this was a little battle between you and you. Um, it's interesting. You uh, you really do need to operate by, or at least the gentleman I'm looking at, you do operate by picking and choosing your battles. The ones that are on the surface that you have to take care of right there and then, okay, fine. You'll take the hit for that. This one's more on the personal side. And uh, you didn't know if you should take the hit for this. What does it mean if you communicate with it, if you invest in that direction? Are you ready? Why do you still feel defensive about it? Why did you have to take it to the moon? Why did you have to understand it? Uh, why do you have to step into it? Why did you understand this line of communication as a measure of, of your own self-worth and what's going on in there? So this is something you're showing me. I still don't have an absolute map as to why, but you're saying you needed to know that you needed to know that this is something you had to do, come to terms with that and accept it or leave it the hell alone. So it's ownership of choice, like I saw in your opening. You've demonstrated that a million times over. But this one took a little more, a little more extra care. You went quiet on this one, but you still wanted to own the choice. I got you. So Ten of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Four of Swords. You, in order to make this investment, you had to know that you wanted to do it. There is a sense here of, of it's hard. You're saying it's hard to own this choice, but you kept coming back to it over and over again. I agree with your decision because you seem to be consolidated on the subject. If you were still showing me fragmentation over the question, I would have advised you not to because you're not sure. But so long as you're sure, then I agree with you. Okay? I want people to do what's in their best interest. You're telling me that you're making a decision on this as a measure of this is my own sense of self-worth. This is for me, by me, and I own that decision because it's correct for me. Therefore, I believe you. Where you came from was a heck of a process. <laughs> there was a lot of background noise and a lot of background checks on this. <laughs> I don't. There was so much background noise on this small decision, but to you, it wasn't small at all. Like in life, I have to make snap decisions all the time, but this one required a little extra care, a little extra TLC, Christina. Eh. Okay. Okay, honey. But uh, 
I just know the result of it is that it feels good. It feels really good to open up your heart. We're communicating. We're talking. The sun, it feels good. It feels really good. It feels really, really good. All that, that background noise, though. It's like you got too many tabs running in the background, honey. We got to close out some of those tabs. <laughs> All that just to get to this. But hey, it's the process is the process. I know you take things in a measure of responsibility. Therefore, your pride gets in there, too. Um, so that's what I'm saying. Heavy ownership of choice. I don't know if you receive communication and you, you got into that space of, uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? A measure against my self-worth. Should I communicate with this or not? Or if it's you prompting the communication and you had to have a little talk with yourself about whether or not it should come from you. Regardless, the process stands the same. Um, you have to know that you want to make that investment because it comes from the heart. And some of us spent some time a little bit grudging of that fact. That's okay. So long as you get to the end game, I don't care. The end game being what's right for you. That's it. So why so much emphasis around your heart space? The difficulty of it, contemplating it, mulling it over, picking it apart, kind of frustrated with this. I shouldn't be thinking about it all. All that aside, you still worked your way through it. If I don't see something like this on your Ace of Pentacles, I'm going to go back and see where all that frustration is coming from. The uncertainty, being guarded, cautious. There's a touch of anger in there. A little bit. Is that frustration with the self? Because you couldn't make up your mind as quickly as you do in your real world? Hmm? I say in the real world where you have to make snap decisions all the time. Is that where the frustration is coming from? That you couldn't make up your mind on this sooner? Because that's typically how life goes for you. Things slow down a little bit when it comes to the personal level. I'd be more concerned, honestly, if it was the other way around. Something about this needed a little extra time at the personal level. I'm more concerned when people make snap decisions from the heart and they don't really give it enough thought or enough feeling. I'm not listening to themselves. Okay. That's where I tend to see a lot of fuck ups, to be honest. Real talk. So, that's where we get the idea of this is what I said and this is probably what I should have said, but I was rushed in. I, I just felt the need to rush in there and say something and it wasn't what I really meant. That's what I usually see. <laughs> So, <laughs> I, I'm glad that you're showing me a lot of provocation of thought. I like how you stroll out the moon, though. I have an answer. It was there. You just needed time to discover it. That's all. Yes. Sentiment agrees. Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Six of Cups, King of Wands. Now, see, isn't that just so much? See, now you have other reasons to feel that pride and that intensity. It's fine. Look at me. It's going to be fine. You already knew that. But you had to believe it first. That's what all the process was. That's what all the fussiness was. Okay. I'm not saying your process was fussy or wrong. I'm saying it was your process. Respect your process. And that's what gives you confidence to make these kind of decisions. Be it outward in the 3D world where everybody can see it and you'll take ownership of it. Or be it your internal self where you are ultimately the decision maker and you have to weigh up against yourself. I don't care. It's going to be fine. I knew it was going to be fine. The way you strolled out of that moon with some, okay, this is what's up. This is what I want to do. You can show me the frustrating process where you had all these tabs running and it was taking up all your space. <laughs> But at the end of the day, you knew with some measure of confidence what you were going to do. Okay? Even if you had to work yourself up into a fit, you got through it. There it is, right there. You're fine. 
You're more than, actually. So I'm still seeing that part in you, but for very different reasons. There's Six of Cups. There's somebody precious in there with you. And uh, you have some healthy energy towards it in your own way, the Knight of Wands. It's giddy, though. It's excited. It's almost playful. Gets you out of that serious mode. Lightens you up quite a bit. Makes you feel alive. I would even say silly. Okay? Even a little bit silly. <laughs> After the seriousness of this Gemini, it's actually nice to see you relax with somebody. <laughs> and that is relaxing. It's like you let your, your energetic hair down, if you will, right there, because there we have the Six of Cups. So we are investing in this. I, I don't know if this is a brand new connection that proves to be a soul bump to later, or if we're trying to reestablish bare minimum. The I won't even talk about the heart then, but reestablish the lines of communication, all right? with a precious connection and by precious i mean six of cups almost always denotes the past but i can't see where you are in your timeline so again it could be brand new and you don't know their importance to you yet and hence all the fussiness around this decision or is someone we already know again of the past sweet memories nostalgia six of cups and um there's the soul bond thing it's unique shared memories shared cups literally over time spent with each other um regardless the process stands the same about the intensity of that particular decision I, I know you want the ownership of a choice here what you're doing while you're doing it it's there it is absolutely there trust your own process you had it invented for yourself for a reason okay it looks fine but uh, it's a strong investment it looks like it's a good investment okay be it brand new or renewed. I see most, the biggest parts of you generating the activity. Okay? So trust that you, you're opening. I only want to make those decisions that are right for me. Okay. Anything else, please, on the Ace of Pentacles? May or may not be related. judgment king of swords there it is you have lessons here over and over again one of your critical lessons in this life for the gemini i'm looking at is to own your decisions this is just but one of many do the best you can with what you got sometimes it really is because i know i love myself i'm going to try to give myself this and whatever form it takes okay that's all any of us can do there is a decision attached to you about spiritual lessons and have you learned them and clearing up indecision. I told you, you're more likely to mess around with the Two of Swords, okay? <laughs> and that's where I think a big portion or chunk of your lesson, you practice it every day in your real world. This was just another variation of practicing it, but with a, a special or unique connection. Is that your choice, okay? There you go. The decision's there. It's always been there. That's it. Choose what's right for you. Um, let's see here. This little itty bitty communication that feels like liquid sunshine. I'm going to try to focus on that. Mm hmm. within six months and you're like what did you see how much running background data you have yeah it could take six months before you finally walk out that moon saying okay this is what's up that could mean anything from tomorrow to six months so within six months whenever you're ready okay <sighs> wait on sun that's very odd i typically i don't know that i've ever gotten instructions like that have you ever gotten instructions like that wait for a sunday well that's very specific now sometimes i think about burning this card not my favorite i have to reinterpret it 
That way people don't misconstrue me. Do not wait. Process things with caution, absolutely. Take your time. I want you to own your decisions. But the idea of waiting. So if you feel like you're on the receiving end, let's say it's the reverse. You feel like this communication should be coming towards you. Don't wait for it. Okay? Please. Um, the idea is knowing here, I believe, when to act. I don't know why Sunday seems to be a receptive day, but that's very specific. Perhaps there's something here about the energies or the reflection of the decision that's easier or softer on a Sunday. I don't know why. There might be a Sunday in particular that is very advantageous. In terms of the calendar, perhaps within six months. Like I said, I'm not used to getting very specific instructions like that. <laughs> uh, but there could be something there where Sunday is a good day for communication. It's a softer day. It's a softer energy day. The person's more receptive. Perhaps you're more receptive on a Sunday. I don't know. There's something there about it's relaxed. It's not related to business, which you would kind of maybe attach to Monday to Friday. I don't know. I, I don't understand. I'm trying to generate some ideas that way you would understand better if it helps you. But I'm not talking about waiting in that sense of I'm waiting on. That applies to the cross watches too. I'm waiting on Gemini. Don't. Don't wait. Don't volunteer. And don't ever put yourself in a position where you feel like you have to ask someone else because both are wrong. If you need more time, then that's where you wait for the self. If you need more time, that's what you say. I need more time. That does not mean, or nor are you asking someone else to wait. Okay? If you're going to wait, wait on you because you're working through things. All right? Something like that. Okay. Well, yours, my friend, was a little tricky today. A little bit more on the mechanic side. Interesting. Oh. Pluto, transformation. Some of you might have some scorpion chart. Could be connecting to one. Or Gemini perhaps is your Pluto placement. Okay. Runner, speak your truth. Perhaps, runner, there is the identification. Again, not an accusation or judgment on my part. The oracles, they either bridge the story for you or they don't. In other words, they either make sense to you or don't. Whereas somebody who had the disposition to run, um, knowing when to stop, stand still, listen to the self, okay? And speak the truth. Let's not run from our truth, what it is that you've learned. Perhaps it is the receiving party. I just, I don't see why you'd want to communicate with a runner. I don't think that's it. We're speaking the truth. That means we have to stop long enough in order to do it. Okay. But yes, some of you might identify uh, that runner. We need to nurture and show compassion and love towards the divine feminine. If you believe in that, you may not. That's not really the point. The idea is receptive receptivity so that's the feminine power is to nurture compassion but also needs to receive in order to continue to give to someone else so that's very feminine so long as i understand that you love and care about me i can give it back to you so that's what you call divine feminine um it's more on the side of i know what my role is towards you i want to love you unconditionally and give to you and be compassionate but i need it for me too in order to give it to you that's what divine, that the divine part says I know better. Okay? Not just a feminine, but a divine feminine. Same is true for masculine, the divine masculine. Okay? We understand our roles and that it should be give and take, and that's what divinity is. All right? So somebody here needs to show love and compassion nurturing to possibly the divine feminine. Perhaps you are or the other person is, whoever needs the feminine energy. Okay? I don't know. All right. I think that just about covers it, guys. Epiphany, oh my lord, epiphany, financial, hot and cold spring, hot and cold, epiphany about financial, 
There is an epiphany here, an insight and understanding. Let's take the word financial out of it. I think like that's too limiting. Let's take the word loss. There's an epiphany here about loss, an insight about loss, and what does that mean? Hot and cold spring. Hot and cold energies. Hot and cold. Why is last spring important? Hot and cold. There was a, a, there was a showcase of very strong hot and cold on and off energies last spring. I want this. I don't want this. I'm running. I'm letting it catch up. I don't know. But last spring, there was a, it was a billboard of energy last spring for some of you. I want this. Go away. I want this. I don't want this. I have feelings. No, I don't. Hmm. I don't know why that was so such a strong impression. Ooh, yours is definitely tricky today. Still like it though. I like the process, Gemini. Don't lose sight of that venomous thoughts that carried over on the horizon. There's something here about the venomous thoughts, the negative, the poisonous thoughts that have carried over on a long horizon. We can't stop thinking about the negative words. No matter how far time has stretched out or distance, the negative words stay with us. We have not been able to shake them. The last words, the final words. Something that plagues us. Encompass, driving us forward. Seven, three, forty-two. The Institute. Believing in thyself, standing by it. Number 19. This is what I stand for. Okay. Guys, I hope this helped you. It was tricky. I really feel like I could have done another 20 minutes on this one. Easy. Maybe more. It's interesting. All right. Guys, I hope this helped you regardless. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.